Kareen Hashnov versus Francisco Serendolo is the third quarterfinal for the men's tournament in Miami for 2023. And both players have caused big upsets to get to the quarterfinals. Serendolo started the tournament off as the number 25 seed. We get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the lucky loser, Kovacevic. This was no problem for Serendolo, winning in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on the number five seed, Ojal the Asim, who had played well in Miami before. This was no problem for Serendolo. Again, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 7-5. In the fourth round, he'd take on Sinego, the unseeded Italian, who'd had some big wins beating Tiafo and team along the way. And after losing the first set, Serendolo would have to fight back to win, 3-6, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to another Miami quarterfinal. Hashinov started the tournament off as the number 14 seed, we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Echeverri, the Argentinian. And after dropping the second set, we have to fight back to win. 6-1, 3-6, 6-3. In the third round, he take on Lehechka, the informed Czech player who had beaten some big names in 2023. But Hashinov found no problem with him, getting through in straight sets. 6-2, 6-4. In the fourth round, he take on the second seed, Tsitsipas, who had been battling a shoulder injury for the past couple of weeks. But this didn't bother Hashinov, getting his first win over Tsitsipas in straight sets. 7-6, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have only played the one time before Four. That was back in Canada last year with Hashinov winning the match in a very close three-setter. So I'm expecting something similar in their quarterfinal this time. If Serendola is going to win this one, he needs to use the crowd. For some reason, there's been a massive South American influence on the crowd this week. For Brazilians, Argentinians, they've been getting a lot of support from the crowd. So he's going to have to use the crowd. And of course, some of them might remember him making the semifinal last year. So he might even have some extra fans there from the locals. If Hashinov is going to win this one, he needs to serve well. He needs to be aggressive. Make Serendola move here and try and limit the crowd noise as well. If he can get off to a good start. Maybe the crowd won't get as involved and he will keep his cool because sometimes he does get a little frustrated and a little in his own head. This is a very random quarterfinal. I don't think anyone expected these two players to be meeting at this stage in this event, especially with some of the names that were along the line in this tournament. But I'm going to go with Hashinov to win this one. For some reason, he just seems to play really well at big events throughout the year. Of course, he made the semifinals of Australian Open and the US Open over the last couple of months. So I'm going to go with Hashinov winning again to make another semifinal. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?